always uh, I always feel weird just uh, just jumping into my jokes. Let's uh, let's just count in from five. Let's just count from five together, and then I'll go. All right, here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. So the other day, <laughs> the other day I uh, the other day I saw a flyer on a telephone pole that said, uh, "Did you lose a tortoise?" Can you imagine that level of negligence? <laughs> it's like I turn my head for like two hours. <laughs> All right, it's gonna be a lot of stuff like that. Here we go. I, uh, you know, like uh, you know, like TV shows and movies, the way they close a dead person's eyes. They do that little number, you know, they close a dead person's eyes. I think you could use that to get out of a conversation. <laughs> like every time one of my dad's friends was just like, ah, stand-up comedy, you make a lot of money doing that, I could be like, yeah, yeah, yeah good night, sweet prince. <laughs> Did you know uh, you could just buy a redwood tree? You, you can just do that. You can just go online and order a giant sequoia. I didn't know that. I planted one in my parents' yard, and uh, that's a slow burn, but that's a pretty good prank. It's gonna be a real big tree, so. I'm, uh, I'm skeptical if Popeye was really in the Navy. Uh, just because uh, just he calls himself the Sailor Man? I don't know about that. If in real life someone came up to you and was like, I'm the Sailor Man, you'd be like, cool, a drug addict found a hat. <laughs> I, read, uh, I read this thing that I thought was really inspiring. I thought this was really inspirational. He said, uh, he said early on in his career, Dr. Seuss was rejected by 27 publishers. Yeah, so like, no matter what happens, don't ever let anyone tell you that you have to like Dr. Seuss. <laughs> it's like, of course it rhymes. He's making up the words. No one is safe when I come up here. Nobody. I, uh, uh, I, I don't think I'm smart enough to have an epiphany. I don't think I could pull that off, an epiphany. Like Isaac Newton, an apple fell on his head and he came up with the theory of gravity off of that. And I just would have been like, oh my God, helmets for fruit. We should do helmets for fruit. <laughs> Good fruit helmet. Not enough comedians are talking about the courtroom gavel. Here we go. I, uh, I think the courtroom gavel is weirdly primitive for the situation. Like, if, if you had to explain that to somebody, you're just like, a courtroom, what's that? And you're like, oh, it's like the thing that makes us a society. It's very official. You're like, okay, what's that the judge is holding? Oh, that's the be quiet hammer. They still do it that way. It feels like they are figuring out what they should do for that, and a gorilla was like, you know what I would do? <laughs> Have you tried banging a stick on a thing so they know you're the boss? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm from the Midwest. Sometimes I wonder if people who grew up in like New York and LA have like reverse born to run syndrome. It's, it's like, where do you go from there, you know? So like, ah, I gotta get out of this stupid little town, Los Angeles. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move to Indiana. <laughs> I'm gonna find a whole new dad and just begrudgingly take over his auto parts store. <laughs> I'm gonna live life on my terms. And their parents are like, no, we wanted you to be a DJ. <laughs> All right, that's my time, thank you.